all right guys so this is going to be a continuation of our previous video where we created a website a simple yet effective affiliate marketing website where we can promote multiple products from any affiliate network so in this video i'm going to show you how we can get this page on google to be available on search engine which means we're going to have it indexed in google search console and i'm also going to show you other ways that you can promote your website to get more traffic okay now if you want your website looking like this okay having the menu at the top over here where you have home and the other uh, pages over here because the last time i remember i left it on the left hand side okay there was the menu was on the left hand side now that is the older fashion the older design of websites this is how modern websites now look like okay so in order to have that or to change that you're just going to head over to your settings over here okay as you can see you have your mode okay click on this drop down okay so you're going to leave it at the top this one here is where you have your menu on the left hand side okay so this was the default but if you want to have your menu at the top just have it set at the top like that all right now you also have color over here you can change the color if you want a different theme maybe if you want for the menu so if you want a dark or a black menu you can leave it like that i think i like it like that but you see the problem it uh it blocks the the logo so you can't really see the logo so if you're bothered by that you can just leave it at white okay then they also have transparent i think i'm going to leave it transparent and then now once you're done just close it like that and then if you come back to your menu now first you need to publish sorry you need to publish it click on publish click on publish again okay now if you come to your website and refresh you can see the changes have been applied all right now another thing i didn't show you before we continue i want to show you how you can actually link this page okay you can link these pages to the main article all right so let's come back over here okay i'm going to scroll down over here remember we created one page for the alpine and we have it over here all right we're then going to open the published website okay then we're going to click on the menu over here, the alpine review all right now we can copy this link all right just click on copy come back over here and then scroll down okay so you have this over here you can highlight this click on this chain to add the link okay just as simple as that all right you can also link the image click on that all right you paste it there and then click on apply okay now we can publish click on publish again come back to our website let's go home okay now let's scroll down now if you click on this as you can see it takes you to the early plane page all right so what we're going to do now is to head over google and type search console okay okay open that you're going to open the first one all right and then from here you're going to click on start so you're going to have something looking like this now mine has some you know some data because this is for my website but for you you're going to have a blank page over here and then when you click on this drop down okay you're going to see add property now you might have this add property just right in front over here so all you're going to do is just click on add property and then here you have domain and then url prefix so you, you want to place it here at the url prefix all right now come to your website okay you can just copy this entire link like this click on copy or you can just come back over here to the design page and then click on copy link all right i think that's much better because it doesn't have this extension the uh the, the author the author user extension all right now come back over here and then you paste your link over there all right and then click on continue so at this point it's verifying now as you can see before you click on verify it tells you that the dns changes may take some time to apply so it takes a couple of hours so you're going to give it some time before it applies this uh dns configuration onto your website all right then once you're done you're going to click on verify it's going to give you this message now as you can see it tells me ownership verification failed that's because it's still yet to verify with the dns text all right but once that's done it's going to give you a verification badge which you're now going to be able to have your website ranking on google all right so just be patient with that so as you're waiting for your dns to be configured what we can do next is to now promote a website using other methods all right one of the best methods is video right video marketing is powerful guys once you have any video marketing promoting any kind of product whatever it is including affiliate marketing products 
videos are going to do wonders for your traffic, for your website traffic. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to this website. You're going to type in video, in video.io. Then from here, you're going to click on text to video, right? And then you have different templates that you can use over here. I'm just going to quickly grab the first one. All right. Now this one is muted. Okay, so it basically just shows you how your text is going to appear, all right? This is the main part that's normally changed, all right? So if you like the way it shows here on your text, you can go ahead and click on Use Template. So from here, we're going to have some script, okay? Before we continue, we need to have some script which we're going to use on our video, all right? So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to Google and grab some article talking about exercise and diet, okay? So just generally exercise and diet. So head over to Google. So you can just say best exercise. Okay, so you can see you have best exercise of so flat tummy, losing weight, reduced tummy during pregnancy. All of this can apply. Okay, all of this can apply. So maybe let's go with flat tummy. All right. And then you have different articles over here that you can use. You can just open any article. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's open this one here. So we have eight easy exercises for a flatter belly. All right. So what we're going to do is to grab the main points. As you can see, we have ab bicycles. We have this one here. We have bad dogs. Okay, then we have the description. We have v-apps. We have the description. So what we're going to do is to open a Google Doc. Okay, just go over to Google. Click on these dots over here. Scroll down. Click on Docs. Then you're going to open a new document. Click on this plus over here. So here's where we're going to paste some points from this article. Okay, let's head back over. Uh, to this article so we have the first one which is ab bicycles okay let's first give it a title okay um eight best exercises for a flutter belly okay now you can go ahead and change this you can say maybe eight best instead of easy we can say best for a flat belly okay then now we can come back over here we grab these points of that right paste it there and then come back again now we're going to grab very short section from this over here okay like that click on copy and then what we're going to do from here is to paraphrase because you don't want to copy exactly the way it is what you want to do is to paraphrase so you're going to head over to a website called quillbot okay quillbot.com so here's where we're going to paste our article and rewrite it so let's come back again okay copy this Come back to paraphrase, then paste it there, and then I'll click on paraphrase. Now, as you can see, it's completely changed the text. Here it was saying, Here's a great flat stomach workout. Lie down on the floor and get into crunch. Here it says, This exercise can help you have a flat stomach, lay on the floor, and assume the crunch position. All right? So, same meaning. We're going to copy that. Come back over here. All right? So, now let's go to our next point, which is bad dogs. Copy that give this some space paste it there come back over here and then grab just a small section maybe like two lines or until where you see uh, the dot then come back again come back again over here paste it there paraphrase all right copy that come back over here and then you paste all right so i'm going to do that for the rest of this entire article all right so i'm just going to quickly speed it up all right, I am completely done rewriting all my points. Okay, make sure you rewrite all the points before you paste. Okay, you don't want to copy paste directly. That would be plagiarism. Now, once you're done with this, you can now copy all this. Okay, just copy, uh, copy all this. Click on copy, come back over to a new video, and then you just paste it right over there. Okay, just make sure there are no grammatical errors. You can go ahead and correct them. Once you're done, click on create seen all right now as you can see what in video does is to automatically generate images for your script okay sometimes they're videos sometimes they're images now the only problem is sometimes it doesn't get it right as you can see this is something so irrelevant that is the only problem but this happens a lot for the free version okay if you have the free version you're going to get these errors a lot if you go for the paid version you're less likely to have these errors okay as you can see most of these images are irrelevant all right which is okay we can always change these images so what we are going to do is to replace these images 
All right. So we have the first one here. Okay, we can just go ahead and test it out. So to replace these images, okay, we can head over to Pexels, okay? Just type pexels.com and then you can just type over here exercises, okay? Maybe exercise, just click on the first one, okay? And the good thing about Pexels is that you can use images and, and videos, okay? You have both images and videos. So let me choose a video for this one, all right? So we have different kinds of videos. As you can see, all of these. Now they have also vertical videos. So that's another thing that you want to filter out. Click on uh, click on filters and click on orientations and then click on horizontal. Okay, so this is going to give you the wide normal format for videos. So let me just quickly download this one here. All right, so once you have that downloaded, come back over here to in video. Okay, you're going to go to uploads and then just drag your video over there. Okay, while it's uploading, you can just get rid of this one here, delete that, and then just drag your video right over there. Okay, and then from here, just click on add. All right, and then now you can go ahead and test it. Okay, now sometimes it's going to slow down your video, especially if the video is a HD video, they tend to be bigger. It's going to slow down your preview, okay? But not to worry about that. You don't have to worry because once it's finalized, once it, it renders, it's going to play normally, all right? So you can go ahead and do the same for all of these. As you can see, our bicycles, you can change this as well. Just repeat the same process, delete your video over here, come back to Pexels, okay? Look for any exercise video related to ab bicycles. Now remember, if you don't find it, if you don't find the video version here, you can also find it on images, okay? So ab bicycles, let's see if we can find, you know, ab bicycles. Okay, so just as I thought, it's going to give you images of bicycles, okay? But you can just go back and get any image again for workout over here. Let's say, for example, this one here, just download, go ahead and download that. Remember the video or the image doesn't have to be really uh, exact, doesn't really have to represent the point. You can just get a similar workout video, or you can just come back to the article where you got these points, okay? Just look for the image itself, and you can actually download that same image, all right? This one over here. Okay, you can just go ahead and download it. Click on save. All right, download that image. Come back over here to in video. All right, upload the image right there. And then you just drag it right over there. Okay, so what you do is just expand it, make sure it fills the whole video because sometimes they are small. Okay, just do that and go ahead and test it out. <laughs> Now, the only problem with these images is that they're not of high quality. As you can see, it's kind of blurry. And if you look at the quality of this image, let's open the, the image folder. Let's look at the properties. Go to details. Now, as you can see, the dimensions is 800 by 533. Okay, you want something that's at least 1080p. All right, so this is not really of high quality. So it's going to be kind of blurry for your video. All right, so what I'd rather use is just a video. Okay, so I'll just upload. A video that's almost related to this type of workout okay and then i just remove this all right and then i replace it with that click on add okay and then you have your video right there you can go ahead and preview it okay. so this is basically just how you can do it guys you go ahead and change each and every image replace them with the videos from pixels right now another thing if you want to change the background audio okay if you just if you don't like that audio sound or that audio music you can just head over to music over here okay they have different genres so you can go ahead and select any that you want let me go ahead and select relaxing all right so these are all the audios for the music under the relaxing category okay so you have this one here you can test it out you also have this one here Choose what it is that you like. I wouldn't go for relaxing for these types of video. This is more of rough uh, kind of videos, maybe rock. So what I do, I would I cancel uh, that. I would select maybe angry or maybe uh, dark. Okay, so let me go to angry. Okay, so the first one. Okay, 
Okay, so either one, this one over here, it's called half of your heart. I'll just click on this plus, and then it's going to tell you this will replace the background music in this project, and then click on continue, yes. And that is going to apply it throughout the whole video, okay? If you go ahead and test these other videos as well, click on this one here, let's start this from the beginning. Okay. Now, another thing that you want to do before you download and render your video, you want to add another layer, okay? Another slide just at the last section of your video you want to add it as the last layer okay now that layer is going to direct people to the description so what you can do you can click on this plus add new scene okay you can click on a blank one and then here you're going to say something like this you're going to highlight that okay and then you're going to edit it over here so you can say something like click link in description to learn how how you can lose tummy fat fast okay so this is very very important make sure to include this layer and include this text okay or something very similar to this text all right so you can even go ahead and preview it all right so as you can see even it fades out the music really really well once you are done with that, now you can go ahead and click on download, click on 720p. Now the 1080p is for the paid version, okay? If you want to go 1080p, you have to go for the paid version. Otherwise, click on export. 720p is also just as good. All right, so at this point, it's going to render your video. It just depends on how long your video is, okay? Now again, if you want to make your video long, because remember, if you want to monetize your videos on YouTube, you have to have at least eight minute long videos, okay? So to make your video long, make sure you have longer ad calls, which is going to make it at least an eight minute long video, okay? Then you can monetize it. Otherwise, once this is done, it's going to render, it's going to download your video. Once your video is downloaded, you're going to upload it to YouTube. Okay, I'm not going to go through the process of uploading. It's a very simple process. If you don't know how to upload, you can basically check out my videos on how to upload a YouTube video, but it's a very simple process. But the main important thing when you're uploading a video, make sure to include your website link, okay? Because that is what you're promoting. Make sure to include your website link, which is now going to drive more traffic to your website, okay? Very, very important. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope this was a valuable one. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to get these kinds of informative and valuable affiliate marketing videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.